And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Scythria ramp. Our next meme tier Monday donation deck. This is going to be an all Freljord deck except for our Scythria Lady of Clouds. Those are the only Demacia cards in here. Besides that, our deck's going to be frozen over, going all Freljord. We're going to be playing lots of area of effect removal with Ice Shards and Avalanche and Blighted Ravines. And both Blighted Ravine and Ice Shard are important because they deal damage to the enemy Nexus, which is important for our Wolf Rider, being able to get the extra mana gem with the Plunder enabled. Because we need to get to Scythria, we're going to try to get there fast. We're going to try to get an extra mana gem with Wolf Rider, an extra mana gem with Catalyst of Aeons, and extra mana gem with Cold Resistance. So we have lots of ways to get these extra mana gems and get up to Scythria as fast as possible. Now we need to make sure that we actually have Scythria. So we have a fourth Scythria, kind of, with War Mother's Call. Because, you know, it summons the top ally from our deck now and each round star. And Scythria is a summon ability. So you do get this ability whenever it would, a Scythria would enter from a War Mother's Call. Plus we also have a couple of Babbling Bjergs that will draw a unit with 5 plus power. And originally in the deck, the only unit with 5 plus power is Scythria. So that's another way to find more Scythrias. We do have um, like Avros and Outriders in here, granting the top ally plus three, plus three in Overwhelm. So sometimes that could be our hit for Bjerg or also Starless here with all these spells like Ice Shards and Avalanche. Sorry. And the ramp spells, those can also buff up a top ally that uh, Bjerg would draw. Um, but like Cold Resistance seems like really good with, with Starlet Seer, right? Like make, make the health on Starlet Seer even more and get that plus zero plus two. But, you know, Starlet Seer is basically just another good blocker as a two drop that will maybe give like a plus one plus one or, or maybe two plus one plus ones to some different stuff. It's not really what our deck is all about. It's about Scythria Lady of Clouds. Because any of the plus one plus ones that we can get with um, Starlet Seer or the plus three plus three, three with Outriders... Those are all very important because whenever you play Scythria, you double, right? So like if you get two plus one plus ones with a Starless Seer, then whenever you Scythria, it's basically like it got a plus four plus four, you know, be besides also doubling, you know, so maybe your Babbling Bjerg is now a five five and then it turns into a 10 10, right? So instead of being a six six, it's a 10 10 now. So those can just add up. All right, but anyway, let's go ahead and get to it. Let's play some Scythria Ramp. Heading on over to the Frel Yord. So we're going to normal because it's meme tier day. All right, Talia Malphite. So they're gonna have a lot of landmarks. So I feel like our avalanches are gonna be good against landmarks. Mm. I'm gonna keep this three, four, five. I kind of do. Yeah, I kind of do. Why does Brom have zero attack when he punched through a mountain? I guess whenever he punched through the mountain, like he hurt his hand, and so now he has zero attack left because he his hands hurt. That makes sense. Malphite counters us. Yeah, the whole like stun your whole crew thing makes it difficult to block. If it's medicine, I can ride it. You got caught. Not really. I'm pretty sure I enabled that to happen. Safeguard our homes. Who goes there? Who goes there? I'm liking this deck already. Ramp. This will be a good winter. Extra mana gems. Ooh. See all. Ooh, they didn't block. You know, second place is fun. No one likes a bad winner, Sammy. No one. Extra mana gem. 
I could have done Ice Shard first, and then, you know, then we would have the Wolf Rider attack also. Maybe I should have. Alright, so we're at 11 mana. I want to play, so I can't really play like Cold Resistance or Catalyst right now because I, I do want to play War Mothers next round. Let's talk about your I'm going to four. <laughs> Guess I have to do that. I have to do that. Alright, let's hope we have Cythria. We haven't drawn a Cythria yet. I don't have any room on the, on the board. So I'm kind of surprised they didn't attack with like the 3 1 and 3 3, right? Because they're just going to have to replace them anyway. So I feel like they should just attack with them. Cythria. Alright, another trundle. Blessed by snow and stars. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how we're beating the whole unstoppable force thing. That seems pretty tough. This wasn't like a great trade. But I guess it's good against Unstoppable Force. have 15 damage over there right now. Yeah, we look pretty dead. We're looking pretty dead. Our best option, is, or our best chance, is them not playing Unstoppable Force for some reason. That's our only chance. We love it when they run. Oh, 
All right, good game. Well, I mean, how? Yeah, Seer doesn't have like a ton of payoff Nasher, but what do you want to play for a two mana card, right? Like, there's no two mana card that's better. Like, it's a two mana card. Like, how? Like, <laughs> what? What are the other options that are better? There's, that's there's not any. Okay, so Lissalia Tundra, or uh, Lissandra, Talia, the other All right, so the Ice Shard's definitely gone, and actually, no, we'll keep that. Let's let's get rid of both of these. So basically, because right now, I'm just going to go Catalyst on three, Trundle on four. That's my plan. They always have round one Frozen Thrall. Great start. <laughs> As y'all know, this is my current... Sometimes You go through like patches like where there's decks that, that always have amazing hands against you and you can't beat. And that this is the, the deck that... I've never played against them where they don't have round one Frozen Thrall and all this kind of stuff, so... Can't... Can't beat this deck. So yeah, the person that made the deck says that these are two of the worst matchups. Because, yeah, like, right, like, we have, like, our decks built around Ice Shards and Avalanches and Blight Ravines. And so these things that go big, especially if they have a hand that lets them go big super fast. But, yeah, Malphite. We don't remove from Malphite, so if they just kill all of our stuff. Or make all of our stuff not block. I guess they don't kill all of our stuff. Make all of our stuff not block. That bad. All right, I'm, I'm worried about them playing something post-combat. So I'm going to pass. So this round, it looks like Sentry plus Cold Resistance. If they're out there, I'll spot them. I'll check for their side. <laughs> All right, so they put a landmark on top. Play another ramp spell this round, then we will be able to play Cythria next round. Oh, I can't I can't play four drop in ramp card, so just ramp card. It's a risk for not much payoff. Right, like I can get 7 damage on the Frost Guard Thrall, but then if they just have Avalanche, not much payoff there. Okay. Could heal my Nexus for 10. Obviously our Nexus has a lot of health, so we don't really need to heal it for 10. Right now. Is a mountain and covered in ice. Oh. I didn't draw Cythria because Trundle's leveled up. Smell that barg? Fear. That's not good.
We feast tonight, Bar. Yeah, I really want another Cythria, not that Trundle. Alright, dang, some tough matchups. Just Malphite stun everything, or Buried in Ice, get rid of everything. <laughs> these, these cards are great against us. Like the the only other time, oh, are we right there? sorry, okay. The only other time I played Cythria, like somewhat recently, I you know played against Buried in Ice also. Like Buried in Ice is so good against Cythria. Gross. All right, so Timo Swain. Timo Swain. I really want Ice Shard against Timo. Cool. No one's the wiser. Oh. I was thinking more control kind of deck, but I guess we are going Legion Saboteur. These old eyes still see far and clear. For the homestead. So doing the ice shard on this round instead of last round one it, it gave them a little bit more opportunity to play stuff and now we have the wolf rider enabled to get another mana gem to have enough mana gems. City Breaker is awesome. It's a really well designed card and everything. This is a really cool card. I like I'm a I'm a City Breaker fan. I'm glad that's not going to my Nexus. All right, we hit the allegiance. So do we do it again? That's weird. Do we do it again? Tear them apart. And hit allegiance again. for Timo. Or do we want to split it up? You know, like instead of giving one thing plus three plus three plus six plus six and overwhelm, give two different things plus three plus three and overwhelm. Spot him. 
Timo's at nine. So I'm just gonna play, you know, I'm just playing three, I'm just triple spelling United, nothing can this stop round. For conquest, for empire. And then gonna go with Scythria, dealt zero out of twelve. That seems unlikely. Fire. It's actually just, you know, leveled up, this way it is. All right, now all of our stuff got Challenger. And some of it Overwhelm. things and that'll do all right so first time playing Cythria and first time winning the game on the spot that's what our deck's supposed to do you know play some defense play some area of effect removal do a bunch of ramping right like we had multiple wolf riders and everything we did a lot of ramping and then get Cythria in play all right we did it Nightfall. All of our area of effect removal should be pretty good against Nightfall. This is, um, you know, kind of a better matchup for us. I mean, I, I don't want to mulligan Cythria, but we kind of have to. All right, so we'll keep Tavern Keeper, Blighter Ravine, <laughs> and we'll just switch Cythria and Trundle. We'll just switch them up. Yeah, do you think they'll have a champion version of Cythria coming soon? Or do you think that's going to be something in the game at some point? Oh, I, did, I wasn't paying attention if Cythria has a winning voice line or not. I wasn't paying attention. So, of course, Sithra is like, wait, last game you said that the first time we played you, you won the game? Well, here you go. Here's a bunch more. What could go wrong? Aren't you happy to have more Sithrias? Let's talk about your tap. You don't think she's going to become a champion? Maybe not. Hmm. 
I guess I probably should just play the Trundle. I was, you know, I was kind of set on on having the mana available for like Bladder Ravine and, and Avalanche. Okay, I was gonna say, the open attack doesn't look like that Find bad for them. In the dark and follow no mm. false light. Diana, of course, is pretty good. That will be able to kill Trundle. So Trundle's dead. Let's just go ahead and do this. Because I could see, like, I go Ice Pillar, they attack. I guess that wouldn't have been bad for me, though, actually. So, no, I should have gone Ice Pillar. The Solari brought this bloodshed upon themselves. This war is uh, over the Solari and Lunari alike. Okay. So, they're going to do, like, 12 to me? No more lies! Unfortunately, I don't get the Diana with the Ice Pillar. Yeah, that was a lot of damage. See if they're able to kill us this next round. Nothing escapes. I sure hope not. Dang. Well, still. We're not quite dead. I guess that like they block with the mountain goat and it kinda enables. It kind of enables, like, like, they get the gem, which can enable Nightfall. So, you know, if they can kill me, if they kill me. If not, like, they only got two cards. If not, like, we're going to win with the Scythria. So hopefully the answer is no. Gross. Well, did they just draw that too? I'm not sure. But... So close. So close. We needed one Ice Shard, right? Like an Ice Shard whenever they made that big attack with the Diana. Or another Avalanche. Alright, finally, Teemo Twisted Fate. Yeah, that was a good match. We had just too many Cythrias in our hand, right? Like one, one Ice Shard or Avalanche more than what we had would have been great. Yeah, drawing all three Cythrias. That's unfortunate. Also, if I would have maybe if I would have played the Trundle first before they attacked the other stuff, I guess I could have saved three life. Yeah, so I I kept like that round four, I think it was, because of the ramp, or round five, whichever one. When we had five mana, I kept like the eight mana available for Avalanche and Ravine, and I should have played the Trundle before they attacked him before blocks. Um I guess I'll just... these old eyes still see far and clear. Yeah. Yeah. 
So that that was that could have definitely been the difference there. Because if I play the Trundle first, we get to block the three three, we save three life, and um, you know that that could have that could have cost me. We don't know for sure how the game would have played out if I would have done that, but could have cost me. I'll take that. I'll trade my two drop for an aftershock. See, that's like that's just a good thing about Starless here, right? Like we're not really built around that card, but um, it can just it can affect the game. Like that's a good that was a good trade. That Starless here. I was going to say, I could see attacking with the Avros and Sentry also to put the Croaker down to being a 2-1. Concurrent timelines. That card's good. A 5-5 five, tough. Five 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 tough is good. That's one of the better five drops to hit for sure. Alert the villains. Let's do this. Who goes there? Especially you know top against <laughs> these blighter ravines and ice shards. That that was yeah that's a high roll. Uh Because I can't cast this Cold Resistance without having an ally, right? I have to have an ally for that card. I am the great Marvario! Oh, actually, no. Oh, so I can't just play it? Oh, never mind. Well, maybe I didn't need to ravine then, but I guess. What a great card, that tough. I'll protect you. Cavalry to the field. The trolls are going to war. Alright, so I do get to play uh War Mother's Call next round. Courier and Rally? That was pretty good. Two, three, four. Courier, heal, you know, like heal these things and rally. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not like mad at you. That's just awesome. Like, opponents living the dream over here. If I play Ice Shard, I do not get to War Mother's Call, so no Ice Shard. We gotta play War Mothers. Yeah, if they would have attacked with everything, then we would have been down to three. So pretty glad they didn't. It's a 3 up. Okay, another trundle. Not bad. The question is, like, do I even... Do I even attack with the 8-6 Trundle? It opens up, like, block with 5-3 plus deal 1 damage, which, you know, like, their PNZ Bilgewater, they can do 1 damage. Um, I'm not sure if I 
do that. I kind of think no. No, we don't have to risk it. We can play defense. We about to sit three up. Stand back. We got to heal heal our nexus for ten. Nothing's tougher than a troll. You got a problem? Just take one. Have played Ice Shard and killed, would kill those other things. Well, that's fine. Man, Citrus Couriers. Citrus Couriers, I guess. Bring down the skies. They don't really buff up our health that much. There we go, GG's. Unfortunately, I kind of wish they would have let me go to the next round and just see if we hit Sithria again off of War Mother's Call, right? Because <laughs> that, that would have been amazing if we hit it again. Yeah, right? Yeah, I wanted I wanted War Mother's to hit to pull another Sithria. Um, but there we go. All right, so Scythria ramp two and three. We did run into two really tough matchups with the Malphite deck that can just stun and then it and then attack with everything, and you know we just don't stomp that. And then of course the Buried and Ice deck, another card that's amazing against Scythria. So you know, like those are you know Malphite Buried and Ice. Those are cards that are great against our strategy that aren't really that big a part of the metagame. So it was a little unfortunate playing against those two things. Uh, but you know we went two and one in the other games. And I, I liked all the removal that we had. I thought maybe we could get rid of like one ramp card. We had a lot of ramp. Maybe we could get rid of one. Um, but honestly, they were pretty good. And and cold resistance was better than I thought because I thought you had to have an ally out for cold resistance. And I didn't even realize till like the very last game that you don't have to have an ally out for cold resistance. So that card was better than I thought and and how I than what I played in. But um, it was pretty sweet. It was fun to play. Like this was you know the games were fast, but this was fun to play. Just um, you know, you're just ramping in, and then Scythria is like a really fun card to play. War Mother's Call is always fun. So cool deck here, and then like you know, a bunch of sweepers can be really fun, especially against some small unit decks and just blow up everything. It can be really satisfying to just blow up a whole board with an avalanche. All right, but that's gonna be it here for Scythria Ramp. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, and of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this version of a Scythria deck. Just in you know something new, something different with Scythria. All right, but that's it for this video. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.